can't think of anyone else who would have thought of or carried out that sketch. Please really welcome Matt Lucas and David William. The West, life is peaceful there. The West, lots of old women. The West, do we think like you? The West, this is what we'll do. The West. Have you here. Now that that was some piece of footage we just showed there. That was quite remarkable. It was a bit rude, wasn't it? Very rude. They're, uh, I'm assuming, two of the new characters yes. in the new series. What are their names? Their names are Tom and Mark. Tom and Mark, and they're yeah. and they're bodybuilders from the look of things. They are. They certainly are. How do you refer to them when you're talking about we them? We call when them the gym buddies. The gym first. buddies. And there's a few sketches, and it actually ends up with them having penis enlargement operations, which go horribly wrong. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> And the suits are prosthetics, but they were your own penises. Yes, that's right. they were the real penises. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, Jonathan! <laughs> thank you. Uh, no, that... obviously the penises were prosthetics, and thank you very much for letting us use yours as a as a cast. Thank you very much. <laughs> Any time. Yeah. Now, uh, it, it must be odd though when you're filming those because that that sort of suit must take a while to put on. I'm guessing a while to get off, so presumably you're wearing it for for quite a large. I'm chunk still of wearing time. mine. The fat suit. <laughs> yeah. No, it is about you sort of get up about sort of the night before, you know what I mean? You sort yeah. of get up about two in the morning and then it sort of goes yeah. on for about six hours. So you're already in a bad mood by the time you start. But actually, when you look back at the results, you're pleased you did it. Uh, and presumably you're walking around wearing that in the daytime. Do people, uh, I mean, do you, you can cover up, but you can't put clothes on top of it, I guess, or no, we, we do? just You lose your inhibitions quite quickly and we're just sort of wandering around like in that state, sort of drinking But and people would think that was you if they didn't know, wouldn't they? They would think there's a really strange man with a well. huge body and a tiny penis. <laughs> Fortunately, they do know because they're in the industry. But <laughs> at the end of the day, I remember cutting off the penis and giving Oh. as a gift to someone. What a charming also, gesture. I, yeah. remember, I seem to remember we couldn't eat or drink that day because we couldn't really go to the lavatory yeah, while we were in those suits. Yeah, you couldn't pee or poo, so yeah. like, don't. And they were saying in the night before, don't have anything to eat tonight. So <laughs> you couldn't really eat all day or drink. So I mean, you're really same. miserable. Yeah, no, it was horrible, <laughs> okay. but there we are. But it's a very funny sketch. Thank you. Uh, who are the existing characters that we like? Who are, are, Lou, are Lou and Andy back? Lou and Andy are back. Okay. They're on holiday. In America? Yes, it's all set in America, okay, so just if you it. ask each character <laughs> in America, the answer will be yes. Well, yes, Jonathan Ross. Okay, but let me ask you, is Vicky Pollard You have in to America? up your game, you have to up your game, because we were on Conan O'Brien last night, <laughs> Jay Leno on Monday, you need to up your game. <laughs> just saying. Yeah. Well, that's all we have time for this evening, ladies and gentlemen. Also, you need to get a sofa that's slightly lower, because I'm fed up with always coming on this show and having to sit with my legs crossed. Well, maybe you need to fucking grow a well, bit. Well, maybe I do! Maybe I do. And maybe he's you... ill. Yes. Look at him, he's ill. <laughs> <laughs> You've got very grumpy today. Why yeah, are you so well, you watch your language, because you? my mother's in the audience and this show has been filth. <laughs> You've just paraded around with yes. a tiny penis. Yes, out. I'm a hypocrite. That's what I am. Yeah. <laughs> so, yes, the funny characters are the ones that went to America. And then the ones that weren't very funny, that we did, they stayed they were, in England. They were mostly funny. They, we were, took, they were mostly we took, all funny. We took, we, but what we've done is... Um, We've tried to make it so it's series one in America, if yeah. you've never seen us before, and series four for the British audience. So, for instance, um, So Sebastian, a British audience won't feel left out, but they'll be... OK. Exactly. So, Sebastian, we've gone in a new direction. David, maybe you'd like to inform Jonathan of where Sebastian goes? Well, to sort of try and do that gag of, like, the uh, hopeless crush on someone, we've actually made him the British Prime Minister, and he's got a crush on the American President, and we've cast a handsome black actor called Harry Lennox. So we're praying that Barack Obama wins the election. <laughs> You can't fancy John McCain. <laughs> but if it does come out that way, uh, then th that will be fabulous for you. I mean, you, it will seem very timely, yes. and, and it's not kind of satire as such, but it was just, it's just kind of, like, convenient. It, yes, very convenient. basically. Okay. And then we've got um, uh, Daffith. We, we, now, is he in America now as well? He's in America. Yeah, he's, he's in America, yeah. Yeah. He's in America, yeah. He's gone to America. He's gone to America, yeah. Gone to America, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Listen. Listen. A bit less of that, a bit more of that. All right. Um, he, uh, Daffy... Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He, uh... I'm not quite sure what that... Oh, it's the finger. It's the finger. It's one of those. <laughs> well, I've got some... 
Oh, yeah, there it is. So, <laughs> Dad, um, uh, and he uh, is now at university and proclaims himself to be the only gay on campus. So good. You That's see. where that well, We've got lots of new characters, too. There's a character called Bing Gordon who prizes himself on being the eighth man on the moon. Bing Gordon. Bing Gordon, right. yes. Get used to these... Because people will be quoting them yeah. next week. So, Bing Gordon, and that's like an American name. He's an American Yeah, he's in or... America. He's an American <laughs> He looks a little bit... He looks... Now, who's playing Bing Gordon? That's you, David. That's me, yeah. You look a lot... Uh, kind of like Burt Reynolds, as he looks now. <laughs> Is that what you were based on? No, it wasn't based on Burt Reynolds. Well, don't say it like that. It looks like Burt Reynolds. Well, I no, Burt Reynolds had all plastic surgery. It looks weird. <laughs> I'm, that's not meant to be an old man. OK. Um, so, he's, he landed on the moon, but no-one knows his name. <laughs> Yes! No, no, no. Listen, hang on, look, stop being so... <laughs> you're being so difficult, by the way. Listen, we don't know these characters. No, you right. know them because you've been with them okay, for months. Fine. So we need to establish, but number one, listen, if they're in America. Listen. Number two... <laughs> they're all in America. Right, OK, we've established that. Two, their names, if you could please speak quite clearly. Because <laughs> yeah, you're swallowing okay. your words. Now, it, from the clip we've seen, yes. it doesn't look like you've had to tone it down much in the States. Was there any talk about doing it in a, in a more moderate form? Maybe not being quite as... Because you're very full-on, aren't you? It's very... Well, I think there, there's different ways we could have done the show. Like, obviously, if you look at what Ricky and Stephen did with The Office, they sold the format yeah. to a network. And obviously... Uh, network television ha has a lot more rules than, than TV does over yeah. here. But because we're on HBO, which is a subscription channel, and like I say, has shows like Deadwood and Sopranos, so which you can are get more away adult. with language, yeah. adult situations, and naked yeah, we men. We weren't asked to cut anything for, for that reason. But there were some things that got lost in translation. Like we had a joke where a character mentioned a rent boy in the script, and what. I mean, you'll know this, but a rent boy isn't called a rent boy in America. <laughs> <laughs> no, so of course it's not. Hustle. I mean, you, you, yeah, you uh, obviously yeah, have uh, known uh, that. Yeah, yeah. Um, I just like ask them by name when I get one sent round. <laughs> <laughs> no, so certain things we had to look out for it in, in that way. But, but so that's just the, uh, the idiom, really, there. You're just looking at different words, slang yeah. words that are used different elsewhere. But the kind of quality of the show, the kind of nature of what you do, that didn't have to be... No, well, people would give you very, you know, very different advice. People would say, you know, keep the characters British, or no, what you've got to do is you've got to make them all American. Move them to America. You'll be, that's what we did. Uh, now, um, listen, do, you, uh, do, do people come up to you with ideas? I imagine people come up to you and say, I've got a great okay. idea for a character for you. The, well, no, this is my favourite story with that, is that I was in the gym once, and I was shaving next to a man. He was in the next sink along, and he was filling up his sink with water. He went, this be a good sketch for you. The overflowing bowl. <laughs> <laughs> and I went, I went, yeah. <laughs> and I felt like a, would that be funny? <laughs> the thing is, we've since thought about it, and we actually think that if you kept cutting back to a, to a sink just with water <laughs> spilling, it actually would make you laugh. People might laugh just the sort of tension. <laughs> they might now they know what's going on, but it's a very odd the thing to say. The overflowing bowl sketch. <laughs> I'd love to film it. Do you think he was, just, he was just nervous? He saw you there, you were shaving yourself, and were you shaving top or bottom? <laughs> I was shaving my face. So he was a bit nervous standing next to a celebrity, a top celebrity, shaving himself in the gym, and he just wanted to make contact with me. That's all that was. Don't, don't make him feel bad about it. <laughs> You're cruel. That's your problem. You're cruel. <laughs> You're the nice one. You're the horrible one, aren't you? That's what we all know. <laughs> no, we're both horrible. <laughs> OK, we have uh, another clip of a new character. Yeah. yeah it's, uh, cool, it's a mother and a daughter. They're in America. And the uh, mother's... <laughs> The daughter's name is Ellie Grace, is that yeah. right? What's yeah. the mother's name? The mum's just called Mom. Mom, OK. Uh, now, would you like to set this up or should we just go into this? Let's see the... Let's, let's roll VT. OK. <laughs> I can hear the kids calling it in the playgrounds now. All right, uh, that's the new show. It's called Little Britain in America. No, it's, it's not Little Britain USA. Well, why didn't you say that? Well, because <laughs> that, you'd have listened for a moment. It's called Little Britain USA. Uh, it starts on BBC... Is it BBC One or BBC Two? BBC One? BBC One. <laughs> Next Friday? Yeah, no, Next Thursday. Friday. Next okay. Friday. Okay. Watch it and then turn off when this show comes on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> that's how we roll now. <laughs> uh, Hey, you got some moves there. Do you want to dance? Uh, no. OK. Um, uh, now, you're very busy men, mm -hmm. because over and above a little Britain in America, they've also, you've also, you've also uh, been doing a lot of separate projects as well. I know you have a, a play coming up, which we'll talk about as well. There's a book. But first, Matt, mm -hmm. you're in a new movie. Uh, you're in the new Tim Burton movie, is that Yes. Right? What's that about? It's, um, well, I, I'm, I'm in the Simon Pegg situation. I, I'm not allowed to say too much about it, oh. but... It uh, is inspired very heavily by Alice in Wonderland. And uh, Johnny Depp's in as well, I believe, isn't it? Yes. Wow. And um, uh, I play Tweedledum and Tweedledee. 
So you just said quite a lot about it? I said quite a lot about it. <laughs> you see that peg? And no one's suing him. Look at that. He's as white as Wayne. No, okay. they, if they do, I'll just count to sue you. Okay. I know we can talk about your <laughs> we can talk about your play in a minute and your book in a minute. But Matt, <laughs> yeah. you also might be doing a shooting stars thing again. Yes, we're right? bringing shooting stars Sorry. back for Isn't Christmas. That exciting? Special. New shooting stars come back for uh, Christmas special. <laughs> You'll be reprising George Dawes for I will, yes. You're going to be getting back in the wampa suit. Back in, uh, not sure yet. We, we, I haven't really thought about it. Yeah, I'll have a think. I think he should be in pink, though. He, f pink feels right for pink George. Pink feels right for yeah. George Dawes. Okay. Yeah. There's a play, there's a book. But what else is going I'm on, I'm doing Matt? a sitcom uh, in uh, Hungary at the moment. Uh, wow. And then, who's that for? For Comedy Central and BBC Two. So busy. Yeah, it's called Crob Mandoon and the Flaming Sword of Fire. So it's a spoof or fantasy film. Yeah, it's like that. It's that kind of thing. It stars Sean Maguire. Remember well, yeah. him? I do remember him. Yeah, that'd be great. I would have thought. Yeah, mm -hmm. looking forward to that. I'm also um, <laughs> working a on a. Uh, I've written a book. Not all about you. I'm also. Uh, <laughs> Can I be honest? On... We're joking here, but you do get far more than your fair share of attention. <laughs> no, because I've bought it. Is that not one of the more embarrassing I've things you've seen? I bought it for you. I bought it for you. Oh, I've, I've signed so it for you. Have you read this book yet? Do you know what? I have read it and it's fantastic. David I've, Williams, I've signed it for you. The Boy in the Dress. <laughs> <laughs> you can show people. That's quite beautiful. <laughs> Would you like to see what he's put in the book? <laughs> Bear in mind, this is a children's book. It says on the back, for nine and up. OK, so if I were to leave this line around at home <laughs> and someone was to come around with maybe a nine-year-old, they would feel with absolutely no worries they could pick this up and look in it. <laughs> Correct. And then see that. <laughs> Is that wrong? Yeah, that's right. When I sign them for children at shops, I won't be doing that, so I don't worry. <laughs> Um, well, what's this play? You're in a play uh, written by, it's an old play, I guess, but written by perhaps our greatest living playwright? Harold Pinter. Harold Pinter. And it's, a, it's called No Man's Land, and it stars Sir Michael Gambon, oh. you know, from The Singing Policeman, and, um, and also David Bradley and Nick Dunning and myself are in it. And, um, yeah, it's a serious drama. It's, uh, it's coming into London I have never week. seen Sir Michael Gambon give a bad performance. No, he, he is astonishing in this, and I've learned so much just watching him. And of course, we met Harold Pinter one time, didn't we? We, went we to did. The we met him. At, I think we. Might, I think I made an impression on him. What happened was we were going to see a play called Endgame, which actually had Michael Gambon and Lee yeah, Evans in. And we sat down in our seats, and I realised that we were sitting next to Harold Pinter. I didn't know he was. I didn't realise I was just an old bloke sitting next to him. And then you started <laughs> going, "Oh, is it a, a curtain? Is it the curtain? You think for the play?" I was making <laughs> some jokes. <laughs> you started making it. Oh, is it the curtain for the play? When they put that special there, was that in the theatre? You talking like that? <laughs> were you out with Alf Garnet? I don't speak like that. You were like toffee. I was not eating a toffee. I've got fillings. And and it may have been fudge. And Harold Pinter was sitting there, and he just turned to you and went, "Excuse me." Yes. But he got up and sat five rows back because he didn't want to have to sit next to an idiot during the play. Don't applaud the actions of a rude old man. What did Harold Pinter make some observation about you, Harold Pinter? He said, I don't know who he is, but he's built like a brick shit house. <laughs> is that what he talks like? No. Because that's, that's like a <laughs> voiceover. Of course he is, why would I have done well, it? Did he used to do the voiceover for the Bacardi adverts in the 1970s? I don't remember them because I'm not old like you. Oh. <laughs> You brought that, can I just say, you I brought, brought that upon yourself. Yeah, but you know, you wouldn't think it's a look at us. I don't know, you've, uh, you've, I don't know, you've let me down, you've let the group down, but most of all, Jonathan, you've let yourself down. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's just, it's a shame, really. <laughs> you know what? This is what it would be like to be bullied by two of the least popular boys at school. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting our revenge. Uh, how nice to see you both again. Continued success, uh, not only in Little Britain, which is now, by the way, they've moved it to America. Yeah. OK. <laughs> uh, how lovely to have you both here. Ladies and gentlemen, two of the most talented and lovable men in the country. <laughs> Matt Lucas and David Williams.